just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? We stick together. It'll all work out. Can you swing an axe? <laughs> Faster. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot we ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temples of Melita. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Adventure seeker. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her dad, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. 
A Yarl's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does it. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That didn't likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. Well, if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Across the wide, somber sea, then I left myself behind, drove you from my heart and mind, across the wide, somber sea. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. 
He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully moaty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some doink version. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Ever fight a witcher? Fist his fucking dog. Make him choke on his teeth already. Let's end this. Clown in the mob, fist his fucking gob, make him choke on his teeth already. Time to end this. Good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction. Sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. That's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure. I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran! Yennefer and I'd be honored. Here's to your health. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. Come and treat <laughs> What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct.
footsteps. Shh! Guards! Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws caw. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? Ah, right. Nightingales crooned. This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Basin of water. For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Not your lucky day. Monster. Feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. Mushrooms in here.
What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear Druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Letter bearing Ermion's seal to the Druids. Wondrous world of insectoids. You. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Pinecone. Raymond Marlow. Didn't expect this. A biography Large female. Advanced. A child's skull. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm, guess you're no indecisive prince. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. Need something else. Gotta look around. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's... Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? 